you're wanting to sell your home fast to ease your mind, to ease your concerns about time on market, not getting enough money, not wanting to have to show over and over and over again, keep your house tidy. Well, there's no magic bullet, but there is quite a few things you can do to increase your probability of selling your home in the fastest amount of time possible. I am Melissa Shaw, and I have a proven track record of selling homes less than 44% on average days on markets less than my peers. And today I'm going to be sharing with you exactly what I recommend to optimize your um, less days on market and the highest price, price possible for you um, for the best possible outcome. The number one thing to consider is really, really great professional photography. Now, that might seem really, really, really obvious to you, but there's a lot of details that go into photography. Um, moving garbage bins, making sure toilet seats are closed, making sure the quality is good, not just interior photos, but exterior photos, making sure there's no cars in the background, the streets aren't busy and lined with cars. Um, all those things are removed, making a great first impression, um, walking up to the home, what you're going to see is a great first look um, of an exterior photo because in my market, we are mandated to put an exterior photo of a home in our internal uh, RMLS that allow that basically goes out to all of the real estate um, search engine websites. So curb appeal, curb appeal is super, super, super important. It's the first thing that people see when they're looking at your home. So you really need to make that stand out and look great. Staging is another consideration. Um, staging is known through the National um, Staging Association to have over 400% return on investment. If your home is vacant, then it's going to give some type of spatial dimension to your home and allow prospective buyers that are walking through the opportunity to see it with furniture and give them visually some spatial perspective of where things are going to go, how they're going to fit in the space. It also just gives a great first impression when um, professionally done. A few things that I would recommend also in preparing your home for sale would be, if it's a little outdated, um, is the top two things would be to freshen up your paint and update your lighting. The other thing that's super important is making sure you price your home correctly. We're heading into right now what's called a neutral market, a very balanced market between buyers and sellers. And so for you, your home to raise to the top, to the cream of the top, um, what we have to do is what I've coined is eliminate some thises. And in those thises, pricing has to be spot on. Um, so we've talked about removing some thises with preparing your home for sale, but we also need to remove some thises with pricing your home right. Now, if we price too low, then you could obviously miss out on some potential proceeds um, for your home and cash in your pocket. But on the contrary, if you list too high, you can see the same thing because you're going to extend time on market. Um, buyers and sellers, um, on the buyer side, they tend to think that something wrong with your home and they will be more inclined to give you a lower offer, not list price or above. And it, it removes that element of creating the buzz. When your home's listed, it's new to the market and we wanna create this buzz. Um, that is excitable to see. And so really pricing your home is really key. And that's where you need an expert realtor to come in and make sure that they really know, and you're hiring someone that really knows the local market that has a lot of experience in pricing. I just so happen to be a pricing strategy advisor and a seller's representative 
I have further education as a seller representative um, designation. So you really want to hone in on someone that's super experienced, um, like myself, to guide you on setting the right price. The other thing that you're going to want to ask a realtor, if you're not in my local market in the Portland, Oregon and Vancouver, Washington metro market, is you're going to want to ask about the marketing strategy. Marketing is really key, as I'm sure you'd agree. If your home isn't out there and no one can see it, the probability your home is going to sell diminishes. So I've got a robust digital marketing plan. So you're going to want to ask about, um, do you advertise on YouTube? Do you advertise on all the social channels, um, on all the third party websites out there? So you're really going to want to ask those specific questions and make sure that your home is being marketed to um, the masses on a consistent basis. Now there's more traditional marketing that, that most realtors um, will offer you on the MLS. It will go out to Zillow, Redfin by default, um, just listed postcards, things like that. But um, you really do need to do some out of the box thinking um, as a realtor, as myself is what I offer out of the box thinking. And for an example, um, recently I just listed a, a home and I noticed that there was a, a fire station down the street. I tend, I actually pay it forward to community servers. So I went in, told them about, um, the home, took a flyer and shared that pay it forward, um, program that I offer for firefighters, not only firefighters, but other, other qualified, um, professionals. And so that was just thinking outside the box, right? It's looking at your your surroundings. I've done it also with schools, um, taking it into schools. So you really want to hire someone that's going to have that out of the box thinking. Look at your home and tailor a custom plan for your home as well. You want to be also as a seller, make sure that you have a flexible showing schedule. Okay, so by flexible showing schedule, you want to make it as easy as possible for potential buyers um, and their schedules. So accommodating schedules is really important because you want them to be able to see the home. Again, create that, not just buzz, but that create that momentum. The more momentum you can create, the higher probability that other buyers will see that momentum and feel more of an urgency to see your home and make an offer if they're interested. And again, you'll just want to make sure that you're working with a responsive, experienced agent. Curious about the next steps? We'll click the link below so I can learn more about your home and provide a clear plan and marketing strategy so you can achieve optimal results with your needs in mind for the highest possible price for your home in the shortest amount of time on the market.